This will be the third year that I purchased a gray wolf tag for Idaho. But this year, I've decided I'm going to get serious. There's been a lot of news this summer about wolves, most of it from Idaho and most of it bad. But the worst news I've received so far was from one of my hunting buddies who three weeks ago was up in our area scouting and he saw three wolves less than a quarter of a mile from where we camp in a uh, national forest campground. Kind of drove the point home that uh, I need to start getting serious about my Idaho wolf tag. So to that end, I've decided I'm going to build an Idaho mini wolf rifle. And I'm going to start with my vintage 2000 Ruger Mini 14 Ranch rifle. Actually, it's set up right now for wolves pretty good, but there's some things that I don't like about it. Number one is the scope. Uh, this is a Bushnell 3-9 with a Circle X reticle. And it's just too heavy it's going to have to go. I don't like uh, the fact that it sits up so high and I don't like the awkward profile it gives the weapon. I want a scope that hopefully sits a little bit lower but is a lot shorter, a lot lighter and something I can get into action really quickly with. Now it doesn't have to be a great big high powered scope. This is a 100 yard rifle. These are not the most accurate rifles in the world to begin with. Uh, especially the original series with the pencil type barrel. But what they lack in target rival accuracy, they more than make up in portability, compactness, and firepower. And in researching the uh, Idaho game regs recently, I came up with a very interesting finding, something which I didn't have a clue about. Now in Oregon, the Remington 223 loaded with hunting type bullets is a legal caliber for deer. In Idaho, the 223 is a legal caliber for anything. And it gets even better. Here in Oregon, I would have to have a five round magazine in my mini to make it legal to hunt deer with. But in Idaho, this is legal. Now, would I uh, hunt elk with this rifle? No. Would I even hunt deer with this rifle? Maybe. Very short range, that's it. But for wolf hunting, I'm thinking this may be the perfect gun. The scope is going to go and I'm going to be changing the rings. And the other major change is going to be the sling system. Right now I just have the standard one inch nylon sling and it has the clip mounts front and rear and it's very noisy. I'm going to be replacing the sling with a Magpul MS1. And the millet rings, which are currently on the scope, are going to be replaced with these worn Maxima 1RM Ruger rings. You cannot beat these rings. They are rugged as hell and they are precision made. And they hold like concrete. Now when it comes to the scope, this may seem an odd choice, but I settled on this little Weaver V-Series Classic 1 to 3 by 20 millimeter scope. Well, let's get this out of the box and I'll show you why. I've had many Weaver scopes over the years, but this is the first new Weaver scope I've bought in probably 25 years. So this is the model 849-400, one to three power by 20 millimeter black matte V-series classic rifle scope. And remember when I was talking earlier about how I wanted something shorter, lower, and much lighter in weight? Yeah. You're not going to beat that. This little scope gets really, really high reviews. And one of the things people rave about is that it's made in Japan. That's going to be quite a difference. Quite a difference. I'm just hoping with the spacing of the Ruger rings, which you really can't do anything about, they only fit here and here, that eye relief isn't going to be too much of an issue for me. It looks like I'm going to get about... Yeah, about what I have right now, maybe.
clear as a bell. Okay, so give me some time to uh, get the old scope off, the new one mounted, the new sling on, and then uh, I'll come back and show you how it turned out. After that, take it to the range. Well, here's my finished mini wolf rifle. So the next step is to get this little gun out to the range. Sight it in and see what it'll do. But as I said earlier, I'm not expecting long range precision. This is basically gonna be a 100 to 150 yard rifle. And if you're a wolf lover or you think you are, don't even bother leaving a comment. I'm just gonna delete them. I know what wolves are. I'm hunting in a state that allows me to legally take a wolf. Wolves are killing machines. And if there's no control over them whatsoever by another predator, they're equal or greater, then they just get out of control. And that's what's happening now in many of the Western states. Thank God Idaho isn't one of them. You can hunt them there. They should be hunted. And every hunter that goes afield for deer or elk should have a valid gray wolf tag in his pocket. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do this year with my new mini wolf gun.